Hi everyone, I hope that you have enjoyed your day, your morning, or your evening, or whenever it is that you are catching this video. And those of you who are returning back, welcome back. I'm just doing some general readings. I've been working on the um, zodiac signs. I've got two more to do, but I want to jump on on this channel because I've been doing so many uh, videos on my other channel as I share them in the community section here for you. Uh, but anyway, I just want to do you all just a, a general reading. So anyway, here I am, here you are, and I hope that you are doing well, like I said, those of you who are new, my name is Shannon, and I'm glad to have you, and uh, welcome to my channel. It's going to be a little bit different, possibly, than what you're used to. I'm not church or religious, but boy, I sure could come across real heavy that way, but I love the scripture, and what I mean by not being church or religious, I just don't have no churchy, like, um... I don't know, mindset of God can only speak this certain way. He speaks by his word and he speaks expressively and he gives us downloads and he's an invisible God that speaks through visible things as well. And he wants to hear us to hear and to see. And so I just, uh, I'm used in a very maybe different way than what people are used to when you come across a, re a reader. And so I just read by way of Jehovah's Scripture. It's found in the tarot. And so all of the high arcana is actually found in Psalms 119. And a lot of times on the Shabbat, which is uh, the Sabbath, which we're fixing to go into. I keep all ten of those commandments. The Sabbath is our a sign between us and Elohim that we belong to him. And so if you keep them, then great. If you don't, then that's your, your prerogative, okay? I'm not trying to, to you know, make you do anything. Uh, you've got free will. This is who I am in the earth, and this is what, what I know is uh, the truth for my life. And uh, I just know my Elohim, and I, I swear by Elohim and none other. And so, but anyway, uh, I just, uh, uh, you know, on the Shabbat, we'll get on. Sometimes we'll just pull right out of the higher canon. We'll read right out of Scripture. And so, anyway, if you didn't know the Scripture is here, it's here, okay? So, it's it is honored here. Sometimes it comes out real heavy and sometimes not. I really don't care. As long as it's the truth and you hope it tells the truth here, that's all I care about, man. My my channel looks at a lot of hardcore energy to uproot nastiness. I, I target the nasty on purpose to get it out, okay? And so my channel's like on the front line type of stuff. If you don't like to walk in the truth, you won't like me because I will shove it down your face. I, I want uh, people on this channel that are willing to look in the uh, camera or excuse, well, maybe you do need to look at the camera. Um, I have to look at my camera. I'm looking at it right now. Anyway, uh, the look into the mirror is what I meant to say and change something because every one of us, uh, we've all fallen down. Sometimes more like people. And so I just reiterate that over and over and over. Um, we always need to keep it before us because we are in a day where it's just been a battle after battle after battle. People's minds are just being bombarded by things. And so I just get on here and just reiterate that over and over and uh, keep it before myself and you as well. Okay. So, but anyway, well, let's just go ahead and get in here and see what's going on and, uh, and uh, see what the spirit wants to say to us. And we'll go from there. Happy birthday, by the way and happy anniversary as well and love and light if you're feeling down and out so be looking for the last two zodiac sign readings which will be who do i have left we have aquarius and aries will be my last two i will share them um in the community section i'm actually uploading those doing those videos on my other channel like i stated at the top of the video you hold the elohim come on in here and prophesy by way of yeshua i just love you so much I, I just thank you for a spirit of freedom that you've allowed me to feel in my spirit it's just really nice energy and i just appreciate it i just appreciate it so very much what do you want to bring out here what's going on Jehovah rebuke bind and block negative energy we have the strength card coming out we have the king of pentacles and the nine of cups coming out if somebody's getting a wish fulfillment and you gain some type of courage to do something then that's positive uh, the king of pentacles will will go slow with you if he's in the upright uh, this positive energy this is I'm giving um, I, I will be slow with you I will work with you otherwise if somebody is trying to block somebody from happiness and uh, there, there's some type of a judgment energy that could be here with the street card in the Hebrew. This is a doorway, a, a wall, a ladder, a string, new births or death passing from one space to the next could be here with this energy. Um, now somebody's, you know, they're, they're wishing to change or to be able to pass from one way of being something. Then that's coming out here. Uh, somebody's trying to rest after a broken heart. And maybe somebody's trying to rest after a broken heart. 
and this death issues as well okay since we can still find it here I said you love and lot some type of uh, being under the knife if you're if you're physically having to be underneath the knife or something like that needing courage okay and you have some type of a wish fulfillment where some type of a surgery situation is here then the heart area would be found with the fifth house or the spinal area could be found here as well uh, something with that is here somebody resting on the truth and that's positive of uh, somebody's just premeditating something that's here as well because somebody's got a wish out here within some ordeal okay it's going to take strength and take courage to open up to do something we'll see What's the strength card here about Yehovah? The strength. <laughs> Somebody is trying to gain their strength. I guess so. To, this is my integrity card. To end something. Okay. So somebody's upright. Then thank you for being that way in the earth, man. Um, children are here. Strength around children's situations as well. To end something. Or strength because something just did end. Um, there's love here. There's love here. Uh, well, I love that. I love it. It, it, it. Even if something's, you know, energetically changed within some ordeal, um, love's the only thing going to help your heart shocker, even if you've been hurt and wounded. It, it's a process, whoever that's for. Again, we have integrity out here. I'm just going to bring it here. There's, there, there, there's an older person here within something that's went down as well. Something's closing out. Something with the travel is also here. This is wisdom I, I feel like somebody for a lot of you all are really trying to go within and meditate and rest on this truth and bring some type of wisdom here okay within some matter you could also i'm um, also getting a dentist could be here since this is the pictograph of the tooth and you know we got being under if you're under any type of anesthesia or something like that would also just be here if that's if a, if a tooth situation is prevalent to you then we also got somebody you know the angels holding the mouth area open so why every over would bring that out doesn't matter to me if that if that's one little thing for somebody on the other side that's being targeted for something to be encouraged to close something out with all integrity and strength and you just have something going on with that area of your life just to point you out then you have a love you enough to just to, to just speak to you expressively whatever uh, we got marital situations going on for some people and spiritual situations with the hierophant and also hospitals are here with the hierophant energy okay so yard gels stuff like that it's here okay um then it's here i send you love and light let's see what's going on this is society this is, uh, uh, somebody's got a revelation here. This is the letter Hey in the Hebrew. We have H connections out here. Real big, real big. The Hey in the Hebrew is an H connection. And the Chet, the old Hebraic, spells it H-H-E-T. They spell it with the C-H now, so C-H could be prevalent. But we have this out here twice. It's so three H connections. We also have an S out here as well. There's been a secret around somebody as well. Maybe secret love. Uh, something's been heartbreaking around some ordeal than, than it has been. What else you want to bring out here for any given person? So I'm just pulling cards and just, you know, reading energy. There's been a foe here. I, I seen that foe card as well. Um, somebody got their heart broken. I guess they did. This foe card represents somebody who compares everything or maybe you're your own worst enemy. I don't know, but this is somebody who thinks that something's going to go their way and it's not. If they're a foe and they're nasty and there's been stupidness within some ordeal, it's not going to go that person's way. And somebody knows that information. Something's going to close out. Uh, and resting because they know that their foe is going to be defeated then something would be here with that energy okay if somebody's getting over being a foe to somebody and allowing some t something energetic to just die because it just never pays off to be a freaking foe uh, and you just need courage okay to, to stop blocking your own heart chakra or something like that open up your open up your heart then that energy would be here that would be a, a, you know a, a energy of integrity here uh, and to get that re download of that revelation here somebody got a download about some foe being around something and some death or birth situation is now here um, then that, that energy is here. Then somebody's found out has an aha moment about a foe around some situation that either is overindulging energy or has tried to block something or around some 
death issue, death of some 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 type of premeditation energy is here, or an idea, or a person would be here with that card. What else you want to bring out here, please? You hold up. Thank you. Yeah, there's a death issue here. I send you love and light. Um, this is a widower card. I, it could go either way. I've seen um, I've seen both of those cards today. I mean, we just have a death situation. Uh, somebody had a somebody murdered somebody. For some people, that will be the case. Okay, some type of a message is also here. So somebody got a message. They got a message. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. I'll take the two that I see. There is some type of uh, enemy that is here. Okay. And the, we have the thievery, stupidness here. And somebody's lied about something and died within the situation. I guess so. So when we got children out here, and whatever this is, or just death in general is out here, something really closed out in a really big way. Um, this is a thief card. Somebody got stolen from in a very big, this bank system's here. Uh, this is I have. And somebody does have something in a very big way. And somebody feels it, knows it, and understands it. And somebody's been very willful around somebody because there is a, 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 an enemy and a foe. Okay? Somebody died over the ordeal, I guess. And so we got the um, Milady card. This is, a, this is a mental illness, a spiritual illness, a physical illness. It's also a recovery card. Okay? So somebody's trying to recover over something. Okay? Then they are. If somebody just, it, it, you know, on a lower level, just energetically lied to themselves and just made them sick over something here, then that's here. This is a um, male relative card as well. In case something happened to a male relative, then that's here with that uh, widow card, if that's what that is for you. But we definitely have death showing itself. We really do. It's really big in all these cards. Okay. Um, we have taken a risk at something. This is a positive card to get up, take a risk, and it will actually go the way that you think. So we got somebody who, who thinks it's going to go their way and it won't. And because there's an enemy and some people want to operate like that way, it, it, you'll have us rooting those people out. Okay, but if you're in the upright and you've went through your process and there's integrity out here, you're going to get up and take a risk, then something will be recovered and healed and uh, it will go your way. That's that's what, exactly what's showing out here. Okay, there, again, there's some type of messaging or communication about something out here. <clears throat> You'll have to give people strength to do the right thing. You just pick through my hands and bless them for doing it. Somebody's also on a, just a different, I just heard somebody's just lovesick. Somebody's lovesick somewhere. Um, whoever that was for. A daycare center is here. So we got, we got children real big here with these two carts. Okay. Somebody's child died. And some, something happened and, and it did. Okay. Um, the righteous are as bold as a lion. We see in the lion here. Okay. And Jehovah tells us to get up and roar. Okay. We have um, some type of a looking towards something. There is respect here. Okay, well, we have integrity. And thank you, Jehovah, for people who are in integrity and uh, will be respectful. Um, some type of a burning with rage and fire. Well, we, we have an enemy here, people. And something's happened. Something went down within some ordeal. Somebody died out of that thing and, or got attacked. And some, some, some type of crazy situation is here. Then something happened. Okay? Somebody's just been burning with rage and kindling. There's a brutish person out here around some situation. Okay? And that, that, so they're crazy. We know that we're dealing with a crazy person. Um, somebody wants somebody to be their best friend for life. And so that's positive. Somebody who refuses to take the steps to attain knowledge has also been involved in a situation. Okay, well, that's the brutish person, okay? Causing upright people have to get up here and roar like a lion and get the foes out of here, okay? Because somebody's a, a crazy, okay? Somebody has also been trying to secure something. And also, somebody has added something together. Okay, again, somebody got a revelation about something that's went down. Maybe that made them mad. And something real bad happened out of that ordeal. I'm not sure. Uh, overcome evil with good. 
and the light is good, and the light comes from the commandment, okay? Uh, I drink the cup of blessing. Again, I did another reading earlier today, and what was coming through my spirit was somebody was, in, in the impression that I got, was somebody literally was closing off on the inside and physically, spiritually, inner exchanging within the self, some type of process to, to heal something, okay? It, it, either by what they did or what somebody did to them. It, it, it go either direction for any given person dealing with that and just going within. Um, but there's, there's something out here about overcoming the evil with doing something good and forgiving yourself and others and stuff like that. Because if you don't, I mean, people just blaspheme the Holy Spirit. There, there's just never any uh, recovery from that if that's what you do. Um, but we do have somebody out here that is respected and they're upright. And uh, then we've got it going the other way. Again, we got somebody who it ain't going to go their way. And for somebody to get up, take a risk in the upright, it will go their way. It's going both ways. Um, somebody's been watching something for a long time. Legal FBI is here. And a family member has been involved in something. Um, we have the garment of the high priest. It's right here. The uh, Hierophant is a high priest type energy. And today I did a reading. And so if you're in the upright, you're in the upright. But something came out specifically that there was a fake preacher somewhere. This goes back to spiritual mentors and teachers and preachers and, and things like that. Okay. If you're able to repent and hear today and, and get over something and you haven't seared yourself, then, then great. Okay. But we do have some type of a, a spiritual leader out here involved in some ordeal that's went down. Okay. Okay. This is a totally different card, but it keeps coming out over and over and over. A judgment has been made today. Again, so it is going to go the way of the upright and it's not going to go the way of the foe. Okay. Uh, someone's secret, somebody's secret is out somewhere. Well, that either made somebody mad or it made somebody glad. Okay. Within some situation. Okay. Well, somebody's secret was out around a death issue and there's a judgment. And then a judgment has been made. And Jehovah's made that thing because he keep bringing it out over and over and over. Thank you, Jehovah, for fighting our battles for us. Thank you for rooting out the wicked and turning around the heart that will hear you and teach from that place so that others don't go down that way. What else do you want to bring out here? Thank you for your Holy Spirit. The, the hay is here again. So it's here three times. In three different types of ways. So some somebody secrets out. Then this is, you know, somebody's beholded, beheld something. Got an aha moment. Something's been pointed out within some matter. There's a revelation about something here. Okay. Well, thank you, Yehovah, for bringing it to the surface. Putting a judgment on something in a very big way. And especially for people who have lost people that have died around some matter. And getting their justice and closing out something. So the Yod, this is the arm of Jehovah. This this is the um, will of fortune. This is interesting because the hey, the letter H. So we got H connections out here. Okay. And then the Y is the Yod. The H and the Y still make the phonics of hey. That's interesting. But this your this would be your higher mind. Okay. So if that's travel, the will of fortune type energy goes back to this, the will. It's the travel. But it is Jehovah's arm. And it represents work and deed and authority and the ability and the might and movement and power is here within some matter. Okay. Somebody got some high revelation because that's your higher mind going off. And somebody was blackmailed to pay, to, to, to be paid off for a bribe and they're caught and something's known somebody's secret is out about that stuff thank you hold on thank you because that saves a life okay somebody pre premeditated to do that thing because they're freaking crazy around some situation that we got the angels here to just stop some foeish type of energy out here all right thank you hold on got a thief out here we already know that there's been a lot of money around some stuff and so the ninth house is coming out with the wheel okay so uh, that's here again we have to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven so yes it's time for something to close out okay somebody got judged within some matter guess they did somebody secrets out within some matter it's here okay and nothing lasts forever
there's judgment to everything. Uh, be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it comes. For Jehovah shall be your confidence and shall keep your foot from being taken. Yes, it, it's not going to go the way the foe thinks so. They're going to get their foot taken and you're going to you're going to have victory here. Okay, uh, and the truth is known. The truth is known. Thank you, Jehovah. His arm is going to come rule for him. And then we have the third house coming out which is Gemini energy I communicate so somebody's communicated the truth and somebody got some type of a um, aha moment of some truth then that's great then you will be blessed um, the arms the lungs the hands the nervous system the, the spleen and this and um, uh, communicating energy is here Isaiah 43 and 26 says put me in remembrance and let us plead together declareth thou declare thou that we may be, that you may be justified let me re read it again I apologize I maybe just put my glasses on put me in remembrance and let us plead together declare thou that thou mayest be justified and so you know you always really been uh, speaking through me in the last couple of days to encourage people to get to the right thing drink the cup of blessing drink the cup of blessing man overcome this evil stupidness that's been crazy around people and get out of fear mode and just do the right thing and Jehovah is going to justify some people for doing that and we got people in society that need to be set free from some stuff and somebody's been trying to control and to control and know and know or put some type of I'll bribe you and whatever and it's caused people to be set back and so if just one person get up and do the right thing you would be probably really shocked at how many people would actually follow for uprightness sake knowing that the great one will come in and give some type of beautiful wish fulfillment within some situation to close something out in a very big way even all around the world even all around the world okay so somebody's secrets out around some blackmail situation and something's closing out because it's time for somebody's judgment and jehovah keeps just saying i've made a judgment today and he has so this will come out people until next time shalom